Hello, my name is Andrew Moffat. I'm the author of No Outsiders in Our School. I want you to think about when we go back in September and how we uh, manage the, uh, the mental health and the well-being of our children. Because our children are going to have, been, are going to have had uh, six months or more of self-isolation. They're going to have had messages about the world around them being a very scary place. And let's face it, the world is a scary place at the moment. So how can we reassure our children in our care, in our schools, about community cohesion and about the world being a good place? So I'm going to be using assembly pictures uh, that demonstrate and, and promote this idea that there is lots of good in the world. Uh, because uh, I am aware that children hear different messages often about the world around them. And I can't control any of that, but I can control a message that children hear inside my school. And the message children need to hear inside my school is basically, diversity is great. And the world is full of different people and we can get along. So we need to have this strong narrative and that's what no outsiders can give us. No outsiders teach the children that, that no one is left out. There are no outsiders because we're all insiders in our school. You can have different skin, religion, different families, disabilities, different gender. Everyone belongs here. And the purpose of the assembly pictures uh, is to have a weekly injection of that narrative um, in the school. So each day I'm going to give you a, uh, um, um, a new assembly picture to use uh, to instill this narrative in our schools to reassure children about, um, about community cohesion. So when we go back in September, the first picture I'm going to be using uh, is this one here. So, as the picture goes up, I'll be saying to children in the assembly, right, what do you see? What's this picture about? Um, where was it taken? And then we'll talk about that. And I assume someone will say it's about clapping for our carers, clapping for the NHS. So, yes, I'll say, um, what was that all about? And then children will talk about it. And I'll ask, you know, did anyone here clap? You know, uh, why? Why did you clap? Uh, what was that for? And then we'll talk about uh, what the NHS is. What do nurses and doctors do? Um, and what do they look like? Has anyone been in a hospital? Has anyone had experience of hospitals, you know, in the last six months or, 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 or ever in their lives? What did you notice about nurses and doctors? Were they all male? Were they all female? Were they all white? Were they all black? Were they, they all have brown skin? What do you notice about our nurses and doctors? Well, our nurses and doctors are all ethnicities, all different skin, maybe different religions as well, male and female. Um, do they choose who they, uh, who they treat? If the doctor is, uh, is Christian, does that doctor say, I'm only going to treat Christian people? If a nurse is Muslim, does the nurse say, I'm only going to help Muslims get better? Does that ever happen? No. Why not? Because the NHS is for everyone. There's no outsiders in the NHS, actually, a bit like our school. Everyone is welcome. And if you have different skin, different religion, you still belong and everyone will help each other. And look at the photo of the people clapping. What do you notice about those people? Are they all the same? All male, all female? All white, all black, all have brown skin? What do you notice about the people that were clapping for NHS? They were different, weren't they? The people clapping were from all different nationalities, ethnicities, different religions, disabilities, different families, gay or lesbian people clapping. Loads of different people were clapping. Why were they clapping? Because they wanted to say thank you and they were coming together. And coronavirus has been a really scary time for us and for lots of people. But the good thing to come out of the coronavirus is the world has come together to help each other. And what we've seen on Thursday nights across the UK is people of different religions, different skin, different genders, different families, coming together because that's what it's like in the UK. Different people working together, saying thank you together. It's not just the UK because in Italy people sang on balconies, in Spain people clapped and sang, all across the world in fact 
people came together to help each other. It's just like in our school. It doesn't matter who you are or where you come from, you can work together. That's what makes our school a fantastic place to be. I always end up by saying to the children or asking the children, why is this picture about no outsiders? I always end with that question. I don't normally read stories in assemblies. That's because they go on for about 10, 15 minutes talking about the picture. You can get some great discussions using these pictures. If I did read a story now, I'd want a story about people coming together. So books that spring to mind are um, that old book about the jam sandwich, the giant jam sandwich, I'm not sure who it's by. Um, it's a book about a, 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 a village that's plagued by wasps and uh, the villagers come together, make a massive jam sandwich and trap the, uh, the wasps and then the birds take them away. People working together. Uh, books like um, The Great Big Enormous Turnip is a, is a great book for this story because again, it's people coming together, working together to, uh, to, to, for, for a common goal. Uh, and I could always also recommend, I feel like I'm always recommending this book, but it is brilliant, Here We Are by Oliver Jeffers. And the reason why I like this book from a no outsider's point of view is that um, it ends with Oliver asking the reader to think about who they can ask if they're not sure about something. So the, uh, the, uh, the character says, if I'm not around, to his baby, if I'm not around, you can always ask someone else. You're never alone on earth. That line is perfect, isn't it, for this assembly. You're never alone on earth. Look at this line of people. Are they all the same or are they all different? They're all different. But Oliver Jeffers is saying to us, if you're not sure about somebody, then ask a question, have dialogue, talk about ways we are different. Everyone here would love to answer your question and talk to you and find out about you as well. Maybe you're in this queue. I'm going to leave it there, but I'm going to do lots of these little uh, videos using different pictures because it's really important, isn't it, that when we get back to our schools, whenever that is, we find ways to reassure children, to instill confidence in them that community cohesion is alive and well in the UK.